At some point in time, you probably saw one of those cars driving down the street with a camera on top, you know, taking photos, scanning the world in 3D. Well, today we're going to be looking at an app that's going to take that to a whole new level. And if you're a 3D artist, you want to see this. The name of the company that created the app is called Ubiquity6. They're a new startup and they already raised tens of millions of dollars through crowdfunding. And they were actually even part of Disney's fifth accelerator class. Now Ubiquity6 uh, launched the app for Android and iOS, uh, like I said, called Displayland in November 2019. And it's best described as an advanced cloud 3D model and space scanner, viewer and uh, augmented reality tool. And it's also free, right? Now that's a mouthful, but I'll explain all that. Uh, and what's really unique is it has its own social media platform. Now what that means and how that works, I'll get into that. Okay, everybody. So before we get into how to use the app, let's talk about why you would want to, right? Well, first of all, it's an app on your phone. That's it, right? So no external scanners. You don't need to go out and buy any additional hardware or software. You just go to the app store, download the link, make a free account, and you're ready to go, right? And uh, for that reason, you usually always have your scanner with you. If you're carrying your phone, you're ready to go, right? So what can you do with it? Well, using the phone, for example, you can uh, make a 3D scan of an apartment that you want to rent out, right? So instead of sending somebody a photo, you can actually send them a 3D model to give them a much better uh, feeling of what the space looks like. But let's say, for example, you're vacationing and you're in an awesome space and you decide you want to model that once you get home in Maya or 3ds Max. Instead of a photo as a reference, you now have a full 3D model. And the cool thing here is you can actually take that scan you made and download it as an OBJ and bring it into my R3DS Max, which makes it even cooler. Sure, you need to clean up the mesh, but you know, that said, with the new tools in 3DS Max and Maya, it's easy peasy, right? And uh, yeah, it brings out a whole new world. Now, what's new here is the social platform aspect. Once you make a scan, you can decide whether you want to keep it private for yourself or whether you want to share it with the world. So if you decide to share it, you share the GPS data and you share your scan, it will go onto a platform with many, many, many others and piece by piece, brick by brick, we will be building a 3D world, right? Okay guys, well, how do you actually use the app? Well, first of all, you go onto the app store and you download it, you create a free account and then you're ready to go, right? Now, once you tap on the uh, icon to open up the app, you will get a, an opening screen and you hit the little plus sign in the bottom of the screen, kind of similar to what you would see on Instagram, right? Now, when you hit that, what you will see is that it will open a three-step process. One is capture, two is edit, and three is share. Now, the first one, capture, basically it will prompt you to start capturing. So you just walk around your model or in the room you want to capture while uh, hitting the capture button to take photos. And that will be compiled together into your 3D model, right? Now, on the bottom of the screen, you'll see a little bar where it tells you whether you uh, have reached the minimum amount uh, or not. And once that bar is filled, you can go from there and actually process it. But if you want to have a better quality, you can keep on going and make that bar completely full. Now, depending on what you're scanning, whether it's a small item or let's say an entire room, it can take anything from a few minutes to a couple of hours to process, right? Now, the cool thing is you don't have to process the images on the spot. Let's say you're in an area where you don't have Wi-Fi and you don't want to, uh, you know, use up all your data to do this. You can opt to uh, process it later once you're home or once you're in an environment where you have Wi-Fi, right? So when you complete all the captures, you upload them into the cloud at a moment that's convenient to you and it will start to process. That can, uh, like I said, take a while. And once that's processed, you will get prompted and then you have the option to do a preview. Now, once that preview is all finished, what you can do is you can edit. So let's say you uh, scan something and you got way too much in your scan, right? You have an object on a table, but you got parts of the table and whatnot. So what you can do is you can crop out the table and take out areas that you don't want in your final model. Now, when that's all done, you have the option to share it. 
So if you like, you can keep it private and nobody else will see it and it's just for your personal use. You can share it with specific friends or you can share it with the social community online. And uh, when you do that, you can then, as a final step, go and explore. So basically, not only check out your own model, but check out scans done by other people. And because of the GPS data, all these scans will kind of be mapped in a way that makes sense from a GPS standpoint. So, uh, you know, slowly but surely, a community will be built. Now, for us 3D modelers, what's also very cool is the fact that you can actually take your model and download it and use it in your 3D package. For example, Maya 3ds Max, Blender, and so forth. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you decided to check it out. And if you made something cool, put a link below. I really want to see it. Okay, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you didn't do that already. And see you guys in the next video.